Colorectal cancer is a malignancy. Typically, it starts off from a malignant polyp or a polyp um, in your colon, or also called your large intestine, um, and in your rectum. And typically, they're found on a screening endoscopy or if patients are presenting with uh, rectal bleeding, anemia, or just vague abdominal pain where a CAT scan might find it and then it's suggestive mass. Colorectal cancers is preventable with early detection, but that's why we screen for colorectal cancers. In the U.S. it's at 50. For African Americans it's 45. And then if there's a family history, then it's, depending on the family history, then it's sooner than 50. Well, it's the third most common um, malignancy. It's the third most common killer. And it's very, it's preventable but you have to get screened. That's the only way we know that they're there. All of the rectal cancers actually I see, I discuss at a multidisciplinary tumor board, and that's with medical oncology, radiation oncology, surgical oncology, the pathologists, the radiologists, and we all kind of take a look. Everyone gives their opinion on what is the best treatment approach for the patient. Typically when a patient is referred with a diagnosed cancer or perhaps an endoscopist finds a large polyp that looks malign, but they didn't feel comfortable taking it out completely or it, you know, it just has endoscopic features of cancer, then I'll get the referral. Um, in that case, when someone's diagnosed with a colon cancer, then we do a metastatic workup to make sure they don't have distant um, metastasis. And most commonly, colorectal cancers will spread to your liver and your lung based on blood supply. So once that's ruled out, then we typically move forward with surgery. And that would be a segmental resection, depending on where the cancer is, their risk factors and family history. When a patient is referred with a colorectal cancer, um, I typically always offer a minimally invasive approach. I tell patients it's the same surgery, whether it's with little incisions or a big incision. It's the standard of, there's a standard of care for an oncologic resection, meaning like for a cancer surgery, but I am able to offer that to our patients. And one of my favorite new technologies is using the robot. And then after that, once the patients heal and, it, um, and the pathologist looks at the tissue, then we have a pathologic stage and that will determine if patients will get chemotherapy after. And they're always surveyed by me and or an endoscopist that's you know, sometimes closer to their home for five years after, depending on if they get adjuvant treatment with chemotherapy after.